Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today, I'm gonna be talking about Hytale again, and I have a question that I have been asking myself ever since I started to see organizations like Hytale Hub, Hytale Market, Hytale Core. There's a lot of websites that are preemptively being made for a game that doesn't even exist yet. So, my question today is... Does Hytale need fan websites? Okay, so in the most recent blog post, there has been talk about a server browser and the ability to favorite servers, add them to a list. You can add your server to the public list and depending on the popularity, it will come up first. You can tag it with specific topics. For example, if you're a survival server, that can be one of your tags. If you're a minigame server, that could be another one of your tags. So then that brings up the question, what's gonna come of server listing websites? Will you need something like Minecraft server list made for Hytale? I know there's already a bunch of organizations, a couple of them follow me on Twitter. There's Hytale server list and things like that, or high list. Are they needed? Are people dumping a bunch of money into buying domains and making websites and hosting them for nothing? I think at least with the server listing websites, I think it's going to be a dead environment. A lot of these servers, a lot of these websites are just going to not be needed and will die from a lack of activity. And then that brings up the idea of something like Hytale Hub, which I've had my beef with in the past, but for this video, I'm going to be as neutral as possible. But just looking at what they have, something like a forum i mean will a forum be needed will there be an official forum we don't know yet i was actually that's one of the things that isn't known yet whether there will be an official forum but i have a strong feeling that after the drama that's already taken place between me hytale news hytale hub they're gonna see all of that and just be like you know what we don't need this drama in our lives we are going to make an official hytale forum and then things like Hytale Hub just won't be needed. Of course, there's other features on that website as well. There's commissioning work. For example, if you're a server owner and you want to have uh, some work done programmatically to make some plugins slash mods, then maybe you can do that. So there are a few niche things that might still exist after the game launches. I don't think there's going to be a commission system in the base game. Another thing that I'm not sure about is going to be hosting options. We all know that Minecraft has its own hosting called Realms, but it's extremely anemic. There's not much really there. You can maybe host a server between one or two friends, but it's not very good for plugins, and it tends to be a lot more pricey than some of the more established server hosting sites. For example, Minecraft Pro Hosting or MC Pro Hosting, which is actually a sponsor of a lot of my videos, by the way. I host my Minecraft server Subiocraft on there. <laughs> if you're interested, then you should probably check them out. They will most likely be one of the first to offer Hytale server hosting. And even if they don't, they offer dedicated hosting, so I could put server software for Hytale on the dedicated machines and host my server that way. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing, to be honest with you. Will there be an official wiki? At this point, it's also been confirmed that there's going to be a built-in workshop for all 3D models, textures, mods, maps, things like that. They will be accessible through Hytale's website and the game. So, again, will websites like that be needed? Will there be a need for a public marketplace where you can download mods or skins? Because I'm pretty sure through the editor, you can upload them directly to Hytale. And then you can just download them as you find them. If they've been publicly posted, you'd be able to just grab it and download it. Will there be a need for such a website? It really depends on what Hytale does. If they make the tools really good and everybody wants to use it, then I think these websites that are preemptively trying to capitalize will die. And is that a bad thing? I don't think so. As it's already been shown before, there are some people that are willing to do some kind of shady things to get themselves on top of the Hytale website scene and it's probably for the best that the developers of the game be the ones in control of the places where their community collects. Maybe there'll be an official Discord channel, like with the Hypixel server. One thing that I am definite on, on the other hand, 
is that Hytale servers that are preemptively starting up, for example, Blockshot, the Blockshot network, basically Call of Duty and uh, Hytale, it's my project, I think those are okay. Because now with the modeling tools, the model maker tools, the server technology blog post, and soon the coding uh, blog post, there's going to be a lot of material that developers have to work with. And very soon we are going to discover what is and isn't possible using Hytale's um, asset creation tools, whether it be through the model maker or through coding. It's already been confirmed that it's going to be in Java, all of the modding. So it will be similar to creating plugins in Minecraft, which I am very happy about because I am extremely proficient in Java. It's probably my favorite language out of all the ones I know, all 11 of them. <laughs> and I have a background in making Minecraft server plugins, so something like this would be very helpful. Uh, I'd be able to preemptively write code. I would be able to modify it quite easily. So anyway, yeah, I think it's okay that a bunch of servers are starting to uh, make a name for themselves before the game comes out, because I'm pretty sure most of their ideas are possible. They're kind of coming off of Minecraft. There's going to be Skyblock servers. Uh, there's going to be survival servers, factions, prisons. And I'm starting to think to myself, well, Hytale is a different game. Maybe it would be best to work off of the strengths of Hytale rather than copy everything from Minecraft because I just don't know if Skyblock will be a popular thing. I don't think the developers of the game that inspired Notch to make Minecraft, I don't think those devs ever knew that having blocks in the sky would be something that's really popular in a derivative of their game. So I don't know. I, I think it would be best that most of the topics of servers, I mean, it's all in good if you create a Skyblock server on Hytale, but I do not think it's going to be as mainstream as something that is decided post-release. With the exception of Blockshot, I do think a good old run and gun is something that a lot of people would want. I could be wrong with that. Hey, maybe me from six months can look back at this video and see if that decision was a good or bad one. <laughs> but anyway, I think I've said everything I wanted to say at this point. My predictions, I think that Hytale Hub will probably survive, assuming it gets through the drama it's in right now, but it will be downgraded quite a bit. The forums there will probably be pretty inactive if a forum, an official forum, is put up. I've actually seen a lot of things on Reddit. There's a Hytale Info subreddit that I frequent, and there's been a lot of people that are just not trusting any websites that have been made for a forum. For example, there's High Forge as well. Uh, not a lot of people trust them simply because they are not official and they think that people are trying to capitalize early. As a community, I don't think we should be taken advantage of. We need to stick together on this one. This game is going to be awesome and let's make the community just as good. And yeah, I don't, I do not think that there will be much need for server listing websites in Hytale. I think that, especially with server listing, it is going to be handled in the game itself. As for the mods, there will be a workshop. As for commissioning work, that might be one of the few things that remains. So usually in these videos, it's about the time where I promote my Discord channel, but to those of you that have been watching every single one, it's gonna be a little dry by now. So today, I would like to promote my Twitter. So if anybody has a Twitter account, or would like to make one, you should totally follow me on there because there I post little updates about things that don't really warrant a video but are still important nonetheless. For example, in one situation, I asked Simon at Hypixel whether or not the modding was going to be in C-sharp or Java because in that blog post, it wasn't made 100% clear how that will work and I got a response from him and retweeted it and he confirmed that the modding will indeed be made in Java. There is not going to be any C-sharp required in the process of making content for this game, although there will be some slight scripting that will be available through JavaScript, but not much info has been released on that yet. Uh, still waiting on that blog post, but anyway, yeah, so it is actually a really cool source. So if you want to check it out, links in the description and in the pinned tweet. Well, anyway, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.